All right, y'all, what's happening? Welcome back to the Power Stroke Rick YouTube channel. Uh, today, we're at a different location. Um, we are welcoming you to Four Wheel Customs and Collision Body Shop. We do it all, man. Custom paint matching work, collision repair, uh, insurance stuff, you know, fiberglass, restoration older vehicles. We do it all. So, long story short, welcome to the uh, painting and color matching part of my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys would like this content. Um, long story short, I think I already said that, but I'm gonna say it again. You guys know I do all this power stroke stuff on the side, automotive, it's all side jobs, stuff I enjoy doing. Full time, I'm a forklift mechanic, and as of part time, a month ago, I work at Four Wheel Customs. So I'm tearing cars down, stuff like that, you know, cleaning them, getting them ready for the customer, uh, learning how to mix paint. I wanna learn how to paint, so the owner is Dave Travis. He is the man, the myth, the legend himself call him Picasso because the way he paints is phenomenal so Dave Gabe and Elvin are my boys that's good people right there so power stroke Rick gravitates towards good people you guys know how I operate so anyway enough of me uh, talking we're gonna get into some color matching on this 22 Lariat 67 power stroke which happens to be my buddies and I'm gonna kind of time-lapse tearing everything down stuff like that painting it uh, we're not gonna get too crazy into showing you how to fully step by step take everything apart that we are but we'll give you a good gist of it so it's like a sore dick can't beat it hope you guys like this new journey we're on and uh, hit that subscribe button and get ready y'all because we're about to get after it so peace welcome back to the power stroke rick youtube channel thanks for stopping by make sure you hit that subscribe button you already know it's like a sore dick can't beat it on this thing we're doing the whole nine we're getting rid of these running boards first off door handles color match uh he opted out to keep these black we're gonna do color match in the chrome we're gonna do color match color match we'll leave the black there and then we're gonna do the bumpers full color match we'll leave all the plastics black tow hooks will color match grill will color match emblem will color match and same thing over here mirror caps fender badges door handles and then back here we're going to do probably the tailgate handle this badge right here and obviously the rear bumper and we'll leave the plastic black so yep it's my good buddy ryan's truck so we're gonna dial his ass in so yeah here's dave's right here this is the uh look at that full paint to match work right there it's muddy don't don't mind that but here's the information guys you guys want to stop down give us a call we'll give you a quote so any paint work you guys need shoot me a message uh in the description i will have the link to, uh, the four wheel customs instagram page give us a follow uh you guys could ship stuff to us we're up in northeast ohio uh anything you guys need done paint match wise we'll do it we'll get after it so yeah we're gonna pull this truck in start tearing her down we'll throw you on a time lapse probably the easiest thing to get off because they're basically just a plastic cover um so you have this that goes over here and right here and here there's two little plastic tabs so if you see in the time lapse all i do is you come in here with your fingers pry the one open and then pry the bottom one down with your fingers and then they just pop right off just like that so plain and simple it sucks with the uh steel bodies and older like my blue truck because you gotta actually take the whole handle out and then you have no handles in your truck so you can't even use it so this is kind of cool because you can still drive it with the plastic main handle on it. So, and you don't got to tear the door panel apart. I mean, this is one thing that Ford did good. So just want to show you guys that um, slow tear down here. So. We <laughs> one two three four tabs all right you get all these clips right here so i just want you to it's kind of nice how they have it like this you just kind of pull 
you've seen the time lapse. It was probably took me a couple minutes, maybe two, three minutes. Work your way around. Don't go Hulk smash and just pulling on it, you know, like you pull your crank down there. So nice and easy. Just kind of work your way around because you don't want to break these. So the paint match work, um, Ryan's doing uh, paint to match white here and then the uh, F250 uh, letters and numbers here. So we'll probably get it on film, but I'm just a teardown guy today. These are all plastic welded. So we're gonna have to break these plastic welds apart and basically this will all come into like three, four different pieces. So yeah, on to the next. So a lot comes into play with tearing all this stuff down, guys. Ford, why do you put a thousand eight millis to hold this valence on? But anyway, guys. All right, so I've been time-lapsing a lot here, but I kind of want to give you guys a quick little rundown of what we got going on here. So starting with the grill, um, and I'm just comparing from the 17 to 19s, uh, this is, since this is a 22. So you saw all the push connectors up top, you got that, and then you got all these 10 millimeters right here, same there. So on my 17, you just pull here and pull here, and there's all these little pins and all these clips that fall out, and you know, they, they suck, so... Either way, um, this is a lot better on the 22s, what they did. But if you see me walking around the time lapse, I'm kind of figuring out as I go. So the bottom of the grill, which here's everything. Valence is 8 millimeter, And I wrap, since we're not painting any of the plastics, I wrap all the hardware to it so we know where it goes. So the grill, you got this chrome piece, which is getting painted. So you got to take this part off on the bottom. And you got a 10 millimeter down there and a 10 millimeter over there, right? So... You got your top 10s, take that bottom chrome part out. You got a 10 there, 10 there. And then you got these tabs, which they went back to kind of like on the older style, which kind of just kind of popped them out the screwdriver. And then they have one, two, uh, where are we at? Three, four of the connectors that, that always like to lose, that you like to lose or they like to hide from you, which I will show you is in the bag, labeled. And it's these orange ones. You have four of them. Make sure you have all four. So those are the ones that pull out. That's what was on a lot of my black truck. So now that we got that, um, and you saw in the time lapse, this plastic stuff, I'm not going to go through it. Everything's taped up uh, where the hardware goes. All it is is a bunch of eight millimeters and a bunch of uh, tree connectors. That's all it is. So we're not painting any of the plastic, so we're keeping all of that. Um, yeah. So... The grill we're gonna break down since he has the sprayer on his emblem and the camera. You got those two plugs in the back like you saw here. So you just unplug this one. It's a little push connector. Now this for the fluid, it's kind of like a hood strut. You got this like black tab right here and you pull the tab down a little bit and then it slides right out. And you push back on, it snaps back in. So, yep, that is that. And then as for the front bumper, there's this, uh, this plastic right here, which I'm sure there's a bunch of these uh, connectors. Yeah, like the the crimp ends, you kind of got to pinch them and pull, pinch pull connectors, whatever you call them. So there's a bunch of them. And then the fog lights, we'll get them out as well. So your bolts for the bumper, you got with the tow hooks, which we'll be taking them out too. Um, you got these two right here, I believe. Go to the frame. I forget what it is. It's been a minute. Two... Where are we at? I thought two of these go to the frame. And then I know there's the ones back here. There's these two right down here. So once we figure all that jazz out, then we'll get the bumper off. But we're almost, we're almost there. We're getting there.
yeah, look at that, guys. Bumper is off. Um, a ton of push connectors. I mean, everywhere along the bumper. So I'm not giving you guys the whole whole rundown, but you got eight 18 millimeters in the front right there, and then you got some uh, 15 millimeters over here for the brackets. So take all that off. Make sure all the wiring's off. We got it zip tied up for now. So this thing front end's ready to go. Um, I'm gonna start tearing this down because these bumpers are gonna get sandblasted. So we'll take this off, this off, same on both sides, and then this plastic. And then this one's ready for sandblast. All we got left is breaking the mirrors down, get these chrome caps off, and getting the rear bumper off. And this thing will be ready to start getting some color match. Also, uh, he opted to do the tow hooks, so we got them off. We're gonna blast them and paint them white as well. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna do a little time lapse of breaking this down right here. <laughs> So meters, if you guys seen the time lapse of me taking these apart, the cool thing about not color matching all of these is you don't gotta take the whole mirror off. So all we need is the, obviously the chrome caps we're doing white. You still gotta break the mirror down to get them off. So if you guys seen me do, there's some guy videos, they'll come up here with the flat blade and they'll pry it off. Or you could just fold this up and then be gentle with both hands and pop the tabs out. And then same with the bottom, come in through the bottom and then pop that out as well. So you got two connectors and then you got a blind spot connector and then you got the two up here for the heated mirror as well. So then you got a bunch of these seven millimeters and then you'll just have tab, 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 and then there'll be a tab on the bottom for the uh, chrome cap. So what I'm getting at, the cool thing about these is seven millis are all back in. I could put the glass back in and be done. So once we paint the caps, we'll just pop them back on. So here's your glass right here. Here's all the tabs. So. Just be careful, you got connectors here, you don't wanna break this glass. It does happen from time to time, so that. I'm just gonna throw the glass back in, and then here is your caps right here. Nothing broken. You got that tab, those three tabs, and then you got this one right here. And then same with uh, this one as well. So these are gonna be all color matched. So just be very gentle with this stuff, pulling everything off, trying not to break anything, so yeah. All right, y'all, so it's a couple days later. Uh, if y'all saw the time last of us taking the rear bumper off, that was pretty much it. Um, the rear emblem, you got two tabs right here, and then they 3M, two-way tape all the way around, which I don't know why. And then this handle, the chrome, you got three tabs, and then again, 3M tape right there, which is weird. Um, so luckily, he's got the pull-out step, so it's easy to get this off. You got four 10 millimeters. Uh, bumper, you got two 13 millimeters in the front, and then you got two 18 millimeters on each side and that comes right off so and then yeah you guys saw me breaking everything down so now we're uh getting some paint work going on inside so i just want to show you the full teardown part of this 